In this video, I'll show you just how easy it is to install and run DeepSeek R1 locally. This method is beginner friendly, simple and completely free. I won't give you any fluff, just a simple step-by-step -step guide to get you up and running in no time so you can enjoy privacy and security without paying a penny. And I'll be demonstrating on Mac OS, but the process is nearly identical on Windows and Linux. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. So step one is to go to olama.com, that's O-L-L-A-M-A, -L -L -A -A, and on the homepage we see this download button, we click it. Then you select the appropriate download for the system that you're using. In my case it's loaded Mac, because it's detected that I'm on a Mac, but you can choose Linux or Windows. And although in this video we'll be doing it on Mac OS, I will leave instructions for Linux and Windows in the description below. So we just hit download, save it to our system, Open the zip by clicking here or by double clicking the zip by finding it in Finder. And there we have the app. So we just need to get that into our applications folder. So we just drag it from the downloads folder, which is where I saved it, into the applications folder. And there it is. And let's just open it by double clicking. The system verifies it. We have to confirm that we want to open it. And now it's running. So it says, welcome to Alama. We click next. And now we have to install the command line by clicking the install button. We have to put in our administrator password and now we can run the model of our choice. By default, it's loaded the command for Llama 3.2, that's Llama by Meta, which is not what we want in this video. So what we do is we go back to the Olama website. We come over here to the models tab, hit models, and then we have here a full list and we want deep seek. So we'll click the top one. And now we can take this command to get DeepSeek running on our system via Olama. However, just to show you, there are various different versions here, ranging from 1.1 gig in size to 404 gigs. And obviously the bigger the version, the more powerful a system you're going to need. And for the 404 gig version, you're gonna need a very powerful machine. Without going into too much detail, just to keep it simple, we're gonna stick with the 7B that was loaded by default which is 4.7 gigs, 7B because it has 7.62 billion parameters. And I'll leave it up to you to test out and experiment with the different versions. So all we have to do is copy this command. And now we need to paste this command and run it in terminal, which is found on a Mac, if you don't know, by going to spotlight up here, the magnifying glass, spotlight search, typing in terminal. It's one of the ways of opening it anyway and just hit enter. And here we have our terminal window ready to accept our command. So all we do is paste the command in, Olama run DeepSeek R1 and then hit enter and that will run. Okay, and that is ready to go. So we now actually have DeepSeek running. Let's just ask it something just to check that it's working. Okay, let's ask it, is deja vu real? Concise answer please. Okay, so you can see it's not the fastest. I'll just show you my system. The speed will completely depend on the system, the version that you choose. Okay, I'm using a Mac Pro from 2009. That sounds old. It does run very well, but it may be lacking. It's got six core Intel Xeon processor, two times three gigahertz, 32 gig memory, and an AMD Radeon RX 580 graphics. Okay, not exactly what I'd call concise, but it's working. So now we can move on to the next stage of this video, which is to show you how to run this with a user-friendly user interface with Open Web UI. So the next thing we have to do is to go to docker.com and download Docker Desktop. Again, this step of the process can be done with Mac, Windows, or Linux. And again, I will have the instructions for each of those in the description below. So. What we do is download for Mac Intel chip, in my case, download the system, open up the DMG, drag and drop the app file into applications folder. That's 1.83 gigs. Go into applications, find Docker, here it is, and open it up with a double click. As before, we have to confirm we want to open it. We have to accept the service agreement, which just states that if you're a big company, you have to pay for this, but otherwise, you don't, so let's click accept. I'm just going to use the recommended settings which Docker Desktop automatically sets. So I'll click finish. 
I'll put my administrator password in. Okay, now we're going to need to create an account for Docker. Uh, but again, it's free, okay? I'm gonna just say personal. I could also skip this process. All right, skip the survey. And here we have it. Didn't need to create an account really. So open that up. And now for the final step to get Open Web UI actually running. So for that, we go to the Open Web UI website, openwebui.com. We come down here to get Open Web UI. That will take us to GitHub. Don't worry about all of this. Just scroll down until we get to the part which says installing Open Web UI with bundled Olama support. Because we have Olama installed and running, we can do it this way. And all we need to do is copy one of these two commands here. If you're using a GPU, it's the top one. And if you're not, it's the bottom one. I'm using a GPU, so I'm going to take the top one. And now this has to be run in terminal. So we have to go back to terminal again. I'm going to use a new terminal window. So I go up to the menu here, go to shell, new window with profile basic and paste that command in and hit enter. And this will allow us to run where open web UI via Docker. And now if we go back to Docker, we will see open web UI here running. Okay. It's showing us the memory usage, the CPU usage, how long it's been running, and we can stop it with the stop button if we wish. Okay, so that is actually running. Now to open it and use it, we have to go here to localhost 3000, which is our local web page, not connected to the internet, for those of you that don't know. So we'll click here, which will open this page up. As you can see, it's localhost 3000. We do need to click get started first, and we need to create an account, but it is free. So I'm gonna put my name, email, and password, okay. Now by default, even though we have this chat window here, there is no model loaded yet. So we have to select a model up here. Let's write DeepSeek R1 and pull DeepSeek from alarma.com. And so here now, when we click select a model, we, we have DeepSeek R1 and we can click that and now we are running it. So let's put it to the test. Tell me a fun fact about the Roman Empire. Okay, it's thinking about it. Okay, so there we have its answer. The Roman Republic was a pioneer in democratic governance, etc. Now, you, you may notice that it took eight minutes. So it's not running fast on my machine to say the least, but that doesn't mean that your experience will be the same, obviously. So my machine is not the ideal machine to be running this on, at least not the 7 billion parameters version, but it was enough to show you the steps in the process so that you can do it yourself. Now you know how to install and run DeepSeek locally and to get all of the benefits of doing it that way, such as privacy, security, and it's totally free. Alarm is free, Docker is free, and DeepSeek is also free. If you do install DeepSeek on your computer, let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear about it. Leave me a comment below. And if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. And for more related videos, please check the suggestions at the end of this video coming up.